correct. There we go, just in time. Thank the fucking lord. Alright. No, I'm sorry for all this swearing, but I just hate this, but... Whatever. I, since I was in concentration mode, my, my, my um, skills have gone up. And this is a very easy puzzle. You guys shouldn't be able to struggle with it. Let's get past these flames. Well, what happened? Alright, that, that was some slight lag over here. Oh, what is this? Let me just quickly light this up. Destroy this enemy over here. Alright, oh, there's a block here. No wonder. Alright, let's just charge up again. Hey, yeah. Alright, and push this across. I, I'm not sure if I was meant to push it all the way, but really, whatever. Alright. Let me just destroy these two first. I wonder what we're meant to do with this. Huh. Alright, whatever. If it's a secret, it's a secret. Oh, right. This is... Well, you have to light all of them in a s amount of time. So, if you can actually manage to light them all up... Ah, I stuffed it up, didn't I? Yep, this the first flame already went out. There we go. Alright, it wasn't that hard. If there's a secret over there, I'm pretty sure there is. If you, uh, I missed it, I'm sorry. I might come back if I actually figure out what the secret was, but I doubt there was a secret. How much damage am I taking already? Jesus. I've, I'm pretty sure there's something down here. Nope, nothing, really. Alright, whatever. Let's just keep on going. Um, a bunch of pots and a bunch of pe uh, dung beetles. Alright, uh, knock over there, you get a teleport. Very nice. They drop bombs, they drop hearts, and they're just there, vibrating for some reason. And now, switch back to your bombs. Not there, there. Oh well. I'm gonna switch into my boomerang, why not? This arrow clearly shows that we have to go into this area. We might have to light, light a torch again. Oh, oh yeah, I've got my torch equipped. And the good thing about the torch is that you can also light these spider webs on fire. Um, so I will be dodging these, so I just so I can light, light light these on fire for now, just to make the boss battle a little easier. All right, let's do this. Um, it's really it's really sad not seeing the boss music because this used to be a mini boss, but a pretty lacking mini boss if I do say so myself. Yeah, there were some things that other mini bosses show that actually gave you difficulty. Alright, I might have to use my milk. Yeah, why not? Might as well just shoot. All that? Oh I can I can still use it. That's that's the good thing about the long long milk. Alright, let me just quickly switch back to my lantern. Just attack you in the face for now. Alright, that's one down. Alright, you can go rage all you want. Now, since there's only one of you left, it's not gonna be that hard. Alright, oh, one more, one more stage. That all it, that's all it takes. Just one more. Alright, there we go. Come on. There we go. Ah, <sighs> that wasn't that hard, was it? It did. It, it took me longer than the boss. So I have to give my congrats to that. All right, this is actually a really safe area. Be careful, danger from the above. But after that, just a couple of um really easy enemies. And it sh and once you leave, it should be your way out. Let's see. Yep. Do the same thing you did before. I mean, yep. I I keep on pressing B for some reason. All right. 
Just charge up your magic. There we go. Oh man, the other way. Herb, derp. Alright, let's just do this correctly. Alright, and voila. We can finally melt the ice cube. Apparently, we can't just let it um, cool down and we cool down because Nintendo logic is just too difficult for that. Ha! Huh. We did it, Sai. We can now take the element. That was a lot of trouble, but we finally did it. Yes! No boss battle. Oh man, Isla, what is this? Ah, fuck. It's an Octorok. Something we can kill so easily is now taking our element. Right now, it's powerful. So freaking powerful. Stupid Octorok stole our element. Don't just stand here. We got to go and get it, Sai, now. But, um, I don't want it. So, just too bad. Too bad, Isla. Just deal with it. I basically, there's two, tre two treasures we missed. I'm pretty sure about that. So, I'll meet you guys when I find the two tre uh, treasures, and then we'll verse the Octorok. See you guys in just a sec. Alright, over here. We got a treasure chest. Let's just melt that. Ten mysterious shells. Really? I went- I came back all the way here for ten mysterious shells. Alright, let's just find the other treasure chest. And over here is the last, um, frozen treasure chest. So let's just quickly get this over and done with so we can finally face the boss. Alright, what is it? A Kingstone Beast. Alright, I'll see you guys right back in front of the boss. Back oh, up. I don't know. I can't speak today. Alright, I just teleported back. Not really that hard. So, I think it's about time we took on the boss. Alright, basically one of the things you have to do, you need to use your shield and your lantern. So this time, no sword. Basically what you do is dodge the rocks and reflect them back with your shield. Try to just reflect them directly at him. And once you do that, oh man. Direct them, uh, reflect them directly. So just stand there and he'll finally get into his rage form. And then after that, you turn on the lamp. Turn on the lance. And light the flower, light the dead flower on his back. Not really that hard, and just wait for it. Wait for it to burn. Basically. Heh. <laughs> just try to dodge whatever is in your way. That's basically what I'm saying. In the ice, it just makes this boss a little bit more challenging. But I love how you don't need your sword in this freaking boss battle. I just freaking love it. Why you don't need the sword. So now. He's going to go near us. Be careful, he might be he, he might go into his sucking move, so just always be aware of that. And when you're ready, just switch back to your sword. Yep, he's now chucking the rocks. Just keep at a safe distance. Oh man! Alright, might as well just show you what his sucking move does. It will just do one heart, one freaking heart. That's a lot. Just take out I'm gonna take out my lantern and switch into my shield. Alright, let's see if you're you can sort of tell uh, uh, when he's um, shooting or not, but just be careful. That's all I have to say. Oh, and he's sucking. Let's roll out. Just keep at a really safe distance. If he tries to, oh man, I'm doing really bad against this boss, and this isn't even his half phase yet. All right, don't suck me in. There we go. One more hit. Oh, oh, looks looks like it, it didn't take that long. All right, now just dodge whatever he throws at you. He's gonna go in a rampage because his protective mode didn't protect him. Uh, quite ironic. If I was a freaking human, this wouldn't been this would have been no problem at all. All right, this is when the next phase comes in. I'm pretty sure. Oh, not yet. Looks like he's not really up to that. Um, stage yet. I don't actually like to be um 
closed into this corner, so... Oh, man. Alright, just... just. Oh, man. Now he's using his dust. If you have this on, you have the shield on, it will be no problem. Just, just really be careful of these rocks. That's all I have to say. Alright. I'm dodging them pretty easily, so... Should be no problem too for you guys, because you guys are probably all better Zelda players than me. And when it's clear, just chuck. He's going to start chucking the rocks. And you will be start deflecting it, same as always. If I can just see his tail, uh, it 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 should be no problem. Oh man, going out a little rampage here, buddy. Calm down. We can talk it over. Have a little cup of coffee. Get to know one one of each other. All right. Looks like he doesn't do anything while he is. Oh man! He just got eaten again. Great. Oh well. Alright, um, light up. Light up as always. I love how the lantern works with basically any combo. But, um, uh, this. Dur during this light, it's, uh, they could have got gone a little bit more creative. Like fire arrows. But whatever. I, I understand why. So the boss mechanics. Uh, should work. I don't want it to be that close because it can easily suck me in. So let's go. Chuck me something. Really, I dare you. Come on, don't do that. We're friends here. Come on. Damn it. Oh great. This is gonna be a long bass boss battle, isn't it? <sighs> you you are no threat, good sir. You're just no freaking threat at all. I can just roll my way until these rocks go away, so hurry up. There we go. Hurry up. Oh man. I don't like I don't like how close he is to me. I know uh, closeness is good and all, but not this close. He's he, you gotta be chucking blocks now. Really? Ah oh, so freaking annoying, but I really just love how this boss doesn't require a sword to beat him. I'm gonna sleep. Uh, just gotta block whatever he brings comes. Oh man, why did I do that? That was just freaking stupid. Alright, got my guard up. Come on. You got you got you gotta start blowing. Of course you know. There we go. Now, now, I think... Yep. Finally, it wasn't that I was that close from being him. Jesus Christ. Ah, thank God we're out of the temple. I don't care. Skip this. I don't care. I want to get out of this temple. I think this is it. I don't care if I'm doing this wrong. I want to get out of this temple. I don't care if there's a secret. I'm not coming back. I might have to come back because I know there's a secret here. All right, come and pick up your heart container as always. You're now up to 12 hearts. Pretty sweet. And I know there's a secret here, so probably I won't exit the temple just yet. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, we'll cover up that secret. Um, this is the guy that size. Uh, sorry for all this bad commentary. Probably tomorrow, uh, next episode, we'll go back to the good old fashioned me stuffing up, but not as much. So, peace out.